As you can see, we're in a new vehicle, and from the thumbnail, uh, you probably know what it is. This is my new 1994 Land Cruiser Prado. Really cool car, and I'm gonna show you all about it today. Kinda get into depth about it today, but more so just like rundown of like the cool things about it, and like what my plans are with it, and uh, why I got it, and all that kind of stuff. It's right-hand drive from Japan. These Land Cruisers never came left-hand drive. They were never uh, made in the States, so uh, it's really cool to just be driving on the right-hand side of the road again after crashing my Skyline. I got I got this from Speedworks Northwest in Kirkland, Washington. If you guys are interested in, in anything right-hand drive, uh, they can look for it for you, source it for you, and they always have like a super nice selection of cars for you guys. And if you do end up buying anything from them, let them know that I sent you. It like, it seems big, but it's really not that big. I don't know if any of you guys have seen these in person, but like from the outside, it kind of looks pretty big. But then once you get on the inside, it's like, this seat is as far back as it goes right now. And here I am sitting in it and my knees are like all the way up to the, whatever this is. Uh, it's automatic, which makes life pretty easy. I know manual cars are really cool, but sometimes it's nice to just cruise around in an old auto. Let's see, what else? It's four wheel drive, but not always. So you gotta turn on, you gotta lock the hubs or, uh, electronically and then you just shift it into high or low if you're hitting the off road or whatever. And then it's also got this really cool uh, electronic transmission thingy so when you turn this on then when you're shifting through gears it revs to a higher rpm before it shifts so you can have it at normal or you can have it power and you can make all the power i think this motor makes like 180 horsepower from factory and um, it's probably not making that now it's pretty old um it's got 378,000 kilometers which equates to like i don't know a rough estimate of 250,000 miles, I would guess. So quite a bit, and um, you wouldn't be able to tell by the interior, which I'll get into in a second, but the ride is pretty worn out, and I'll show you that also in a second. The engine looks super clean, and I'll get into that right now. The uh, motor is a 1KZ diesel motor. It's a three liter. Um, and it has a turbo, so it's really fucking cool. And I just looked it up. It makes 125 to 145 horsepower from factory, so a little less than I was speculating, but it makes 250 foot-pounds of torque. Quite a good torque number. Um, I didn't realize that, but it is pretty, like, pretty torquey on the freeway even. So yeah, there it is. Looks super clean. Like I said, 250,000 miles on it, but I'm pretty sure it was driven, like, as just, like, a, a commuter car in Japan or wherever it came from. I plan on doing a two-inch lift. There's a company that makes, like, a super simple two-inch lift with new shocks, and it really needs new shocks because, check this out here. You can, you can really feel this like when you're going over bumps and shit. Like if you hit a bump, it goes like this. It takes a while to settle down. <laughs> but that's a super easy fix. And I mean, they're not blown, but they're just really worn out. So it's not like clunky or anything. It just feels like you're in the ocean. So yeah, here's a, another view of the outside. It's really fucking sick. This is like something I've really been wanting for a long time. Like I've always been talking about how I really want to get into like four wheel drive, off-roading and stuff like that. And all my friends are going up and having a blast in the mountains and like camping and stuff. So this is like exactly what I've been wanting for so long. And it's really making me a happy person. So uh, I'm super excited about this. And yeah, just thank you guys for making a lot of things possible in my life like this. Future plans, I wanna get a rooftop tent on it so I can sleep in it and like go camping like I was saying. Uh, do the two inch lift, new shocks, probably some new tires. I do like these wheels a lot, but maybe get like an inch and a half spacer to kinda fill the well a little better cause it's a bit hovercraft fitment right now. Yeah, so let's get into the inside of the car. This is the back and there is the tire mount for the back door for the spare tire, but it didn't come with one. So um, that's chilling back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, basically six seats, but you could probably fit three people in each row and call it eight seats. Um, but comfortably six seats, well, not comfortably, here. These, these <laughs> seats don't move back or forward. <laughs> so this is what it looks like with me anyways. Um, I mean, you could move this seat up a little bit, but it's pretty cramped in here. <laughs> I'll probably just straight up remove these two seats and my buddy Josh is gonna help me build like a little kitchen in here so that 
when I'm out camping and stuff, I can just open these doors up and have a nice place to like fold out a kitchen bench type deal and fry an egg or whatever. I love how heavy all the doors sound. It's so nice. Like they don't make cars like this anymore. The interior is so clean, like I was saying, and the patterns on the chairs are so sick. All right, so I'm gonna start it up and let you hear it outside and then let you hear it inside. It's got quite the original, typical diesel noise. <laughs> it sounds like a diesel for sure. It sounds like a TDI like Jetta. Um, I'll drive around this little circle for a second. And then maybe we'll hit the speed bumps down there so you can see how bouncy this beach is. Whenever you take a sharp corner, it feels like we're gonna roll over. It turns all the way to lock, which is something I've never had in a car. All my cars that like rub at full lock, even my drift cars somehow. Cool, here we are at the speed bump. <laughs> we'll hit another one. Jesus. But yeah, this is a, this video is more to just show you guys like, yo, I got this sick ass fucking car and you can expect a lot more of this on the channel. Um, I'm not gonna get too in depth, like I said. I wanna do like a, a back roads in it with DJ when I get the, uh, the new shocks because this thing will straight up roll over if we do that right now. Also, this car came with an extra set of tie rods, which it also needs pretty badly. Uh, so that's nice that we can do that soon. Like I was saying before, pretty cool future plans I want to do this car. And uh, it's going to make it like super extra sick. One of the things I can do almost right away. Somebody's jackhammering over there. <laughs> I'm going to take these runners off because, I don't know, it, it kind of gives it like a G-Wagon type look. And I'm not about it really. So I'm going to pull these off. All right, so uh, this is going to do it for this video. I just wanted a quick... I, I really just want to show everyone this car because it's so sick and I'm so happy with it and I'm tired of keeping it a secret even though I've only had it for like one day. This is the video for now but soon we'll be doing a lot more to this and uh, hopefully taking it out in like... Mud. Out mud. <laughs> out mudding and mountain climbing and shit like that and going rock climbing and snowboarding and all kinds of stuff. Stuff that I've been trying to do for a long time. So. Very excited. I'm gonna leave you guys with just like a little montage of all the cool little things on the car. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you for supporting us for so long. I really appreciate it. I'm so happy that I have this car and this car now. These are like, I'm, I'm totally set. I don't need another car.